Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the PackSafe MetroSafe commuter backpack that I've been testing over the last two weeks. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more videos just like this one. Let's jump in. In typical PackSafe fashion, there's a good amount of features going on, so let's just dive right into it. First of all, we have two different kinds of zippers on this thing. We have YKK and KCC zippers. YKK is in some of the smaller areas, and they have YKK on the sling version of this bag as well. I'm not sure why they have KCC on these, but there are these bigger ones here. Don't have much experience with that brand. They feel relatively solid. They're lockable. Um, you know, Time will tell how they continue to perform as we continue testing this bag. Um, up here on the top, you're going to see that we have the rhubarb. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Actually, no, I want to talk about the exo mesh. So there's like this kind of wire mesh material that's as kind of like a liner behind this fabric to add extra security as far as like slashing or puncturing the bag goes. So you have that. They also boast that their uh, zippers are puncture resistant. So apparently there's a little bit more uh, security there as well. I really like these locking zippers here. This is the rhubarb to, uh, if you're a thief, just stop watching this part and just fast forward, but you just push this part down, slide this black piece, and then both of these come out. These zippers can separate from each other as well. Make sure to put them back in there because it does get very jingly if you don't. I like it, you know, if your bag is in a sea of other bags and there's a thief like going through quickly, you know, maybe at the bottom of a bus or just somewhere else unattended, they're probably gonna get to this and just skip right over it. Um, you can figure it out if you look at it long enough, but it's a pretty good deterrent, although it's not gonna like keep people out. It's not like a, it's, you know, a fireproof safe or something like that. Moving on to the water bottle pocket, I've got a hydro flask inside of here as well. This is a do, 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 21 ounce standard version, so that fits right in there. This is an okay pocket. I wish there was a little bit more elasticity on this and the entirety of this. It's just that exterior fabric. You got a little bit here that kind of helps grip it into place and it does button down, which I really like the look of it when it's buttoned down. It doesn't add like a ton of extra depth to it, but I do like when water bottle pockets have a D ring up here. And sadly, this one does not have it. There are also two carry handles on this thing, which will make a little bit more sense once we get inside of the bag. There's a carry handle here to carry it briefcase style as the organization is kind of flipped. It's this is the top, this is the bottom when it comes to the organization. And then there's also just another carry handle up here on the top, just to carry it any way you'd like. Starting with the straps, they are connected on the top. And usually this is a bit of a turnoff for me because when they're connected like this on the top, I can usually feel it. It's not quite big enough to stretch out on my broader chest or like my back and my neck. But in this case, it was actually very comfortable to wear. So pleased with how it feels when it's on. Other bags that have this kind of design, I usually have a bit of a problem with the comfort, but not the case here. We have some amply padded straps here, uh, kind of this like soft, cushy back here that helps with a bit of breathability. The back panel, there's not really a ton. There's like a meshy like material, but it's not like mesh. So you got a little bit of breathability. You got like an air channel here where the strap is. But if you're going to get a sweaty back, you're going to get a sweaty back. There's another piece of fabric here that can be used as a luggage pass through. So you just stick the luggage handle through there. You can also use it as like a hacky third handle in addition to this one and this one up here at the top. When we roll down this, there's no sternum strap, which I think is fine for a bag of this size. However, there is a pocket here. Now this is a YKK zipper. Those two I showed you earlier um, were KCC, but we got YKK here, a liner divider pocket. I've got some cash Metro card in there and then a thicker metal credit card. I wanted to bring this out because I just wanna show you the, that it doesn't really bend that much. And when you have something stiffer inside of this front pocket, you can feel it a bit on your chest while you're wearing it. It's not quite as flexible as this side. So that's something to note. This is much better for like receipts or cash inside this pocket, things with a little bit more flex. We have the PackSafe logo down here and then an elastic loop here if you want to attach any additional accessories. Plastic hardware, which accommodates for these thicker straps. There's like Dyneema and wire in here. And then we have this pop lock uh, thing here as well, which lets you affix this to a, like a fixed object, like a bench or a table. 
put it around it and have a little bit more security from someone just coming up and grabbing your bag. Okay, so I've got the bag on, and like I said, it's more comfortable than I would have thought with these connected straps here. Uh, the padded shoulder straps feel good. Um, just a couple things that I wanna bring up. So there's a pocket like up in the corner here in the back. If you bulk that up, you fill it up with stuff, you can feel that kind of in the upper quadrant of your back compared to the rest of the bag. So that's something to note. Another thing to note is you've got these strap keepers here, which keeps everything nicely managed, despite, you know, they are a little bit thicker, but they do just come down really nicely. And then I can feel that here with that stiff card in here. I can kind of feel that. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's sort of poking out there. Maybe the video editor will like zoom in. But you can kind of just feel that a little bit. So it's a little bit, meh, I don't know. I would just keep less stiff items in there, more flexible items. And then additionally, you can uh, uh, carry it like this as well, kind of in briefcase mode if you want. The only bummer there is there's not really a place to stow away these straps like we see in some other convertible bags like this. Okay, so we have this front pocket. I've already detached this from the rhubar. That opens way up to the side like this. I've just got a keyboard in there and then a pretty big empty space here. And then you've got a mesh divider as well. So you can unzip that. And then I've just got key clip in there if you wanna attach any keys. And then we've got just like a buff and some gloves. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out about this design is that I, I really want like a quick access pocket up here. Also, you can see that it kind of curves around based on what you have inside. So if you have smaller items, you're really gonna have to dig down like kind of around this bulge to just see what's inside. I mean, before this video, I like had my hands around here and I was like trying to see if there was anything inside of here. So like flatter items are a little bit better in here, some clothing. Based on the way I have it packed, it's already getting pretty bulky. So you definitely don't wanna overstuff this bag. And it's like perfect. If you have all flat items like this keyboard, it's great. But if you have misshapen items like a packing cube, a hoodie, or you know, like the gloves and the buff that I just showed you, that can start to like bulk it out in very odd places and just make it, you know, slightly off. I mean, you can even see here that the shape is just kind of like bowing out in sort of a weird way. Like if you didn't notice that earlier on in the video, that's definitely there. All right, next up for secondary pockets, we have this one back here. There's this locking, kind of a locking zipper there as well. There's a little bit of a loop, which obstructs that zipper from coming down. To get it down, you just kind of feed it through here, flip it up and then open it up. Now, this is probably intended to be the quick access pocket. I rarely used it because if I stick anything in there that's slightly bulky, um, I can definitely feel it in my back. So even like my phone, which is relatively thin, I pop that in, I can just feel it sticking out here on this back panel and that really bothers me. I really like when, you know, the backpack is right, or the laptop is right up against your back because it provides like a balanced carry and it just, it's like a flat piece on your back, right? But when you just have a pocket here, when the dimensions are pretty much like this, right against your back, it's a little bit much to wear it in backpack mode you know, if you're carrying it in briefcase mode, it's pretty much perfect, but I'll just show you the size of the pocket here as well and kind of how deep it goes down just so you can get a better reference. So that's definitely a con is the placement of this pocket and the way that it can feel based on how you load it out. Now, if you're putting like very flat items in there, like some cash or things like that, probably not going to notice, but if you want to put like a battery bank and your phone in there and maybe a cable for quick access, you are going to feel that in your back. Last but not least, we have the main compartment that opens up three quarters of the way. These zippers go all the way around. And then you have this fabric here on the sides, which prevents this bag from fully butterflying open. I think it works really well with the design. You can kind of just get access to everything inside. So you can see here, I've got a packing cube. It's about maybe three quarters, half full. Just got a hoodie in there, but that's responsible for really bulking out the bag. So if I pull that out, I mean, this is just pretty much a hoodie in here. So you know, you don't really want to put that stuff in here. Um, I would even like kind of argue that you don't really want to put much like in this main compartment. This skinny dop kit works really well um, because it doesn't bulk it out too much. And then I've just got like my Roost laptop stand in here as well. But if you're utilizing the front pocket that I showed you, this back pocket here, and then you're putting items also in, the, in this uh, bag on the back and on the front, you're gonna run into some kind of just, it's, it's gonna be bulky unless you have very, very flat items. And I think my items are pretty flat. Um, but laptop back here, 
Comfortable with that there, with this pocket empty, just because it's that laptop right against your back. So pull that out. I've got an e-reader and a hat inside of here, both very packable, both very flat. And I think this is fine, but since this goes to the bottom here, it sort of makes the bag feel like it's heavier on this side. So the weight's kind of going like that on your back. When in comparison to backpacks that have um, like an admin panel or pockets straight up and down, you know, this would be um, possibly like more in the center. And if it's just one pocket, I think that's, it's fine to have it off center. When you have kind of everything loaded up and bottom heavy, you can start to feel it slightly on your back. It requires just a bit of a different adjustment, adjustment on the straps. Maybe you have it tighter on one side to compensate for the other side that's a little bit heavier so you can help distribute some of that weight. Um, so once I did that, I was able to get a comfortable fit, but a lot of the weight does end up on one side of this bag. And then you gotta remember too, the water bottle pocket is on that side as well. All right, so nice felty interior. I really do like the organization in here and uh, I kind of this felty material here as well. I'm a big fan of this admin panel too. Uh, I think it does a lot well. You've got this long Velcroable pocket here. I've just got some like stickers down there and like some little travel documents that I might want to keep separate. This RFID safe pocket is good for your wallet or passport. Got a field notes in here, which is like slightly taller, I believe than a passport and that fits relatively well. If it was a little shorter, that um, Velcro would be right on target, but you can see that it does Velcro down on that. RFID is nice, so you know, your stuff can't get scanned. Um, scan while it's in there. So that's just a bit of like another pack safe feature that they offer. And then we've got some sunglasses here on this side. I think that's a really nice pocket. I like how deep these pockets are in the admin pocket because it doesn't get obstructed by the zipper either, which is nice. And then I've got a full size pen in here and then I've got a uh, Fisher Bullet Space Pen. This Fisher Bullet Space Pen was like down here every single time I opened the bag, but this one never fell out. So if you have like a grippy pen that's full size, that's likely gonna stay inside of here better than the Fisher Space Pen. And again, that's some of the trade-off that you get when the organization is sideways. Things can get a little bit wacky, things can fall out of here, and you know, you're just maybe not gonna have the best time if stuff falls out all over the place. Last but not least, we have a zippered pocket here. I've been kind of using it as a tech pouch, so I just dump all my tech and my cords in there. It fits pretty well, but again, can bulk out the bag quite a bit if you don't pack it properly. So there you have it, the PackSafe MetroSafe commuter backpack. Thanks for keeping here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. See you in the next video.